We'll call our public hearing to order at this time. We do have two items on the agenda for our public hearing tonight. They are both for ordinances concerning zoning. The first one is for ordinance number 2022-03. Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2022-03, zoning amendment, be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one, that the following property owned by Stephanie Doris and known as MAP 00031001309 Barnhart Circle, current zoning C1, request R3 zoning back to the original zoning copy of the uh, particular ordinance has been in the clerk's office and uh, is available here if you desire it. Is there anyone here that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? Do you have any comments that you would like to make, ma'am? Mayor, it doesn't appear that there's anyone here to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Our next item under our public hearing tonight is a zoning request for ordinance number 2022-04. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2022-04, zoning amendment, be ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia and it is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one, that the following property owned by Pratt and Associates and known as MAP 0011F001 through 0011F0F1, 0011A113, Winchester Drive, Huntley Meadows Development, Phase 3A and future Phase 3B variance requests to reduce the rear setback from 30 feet to 20 feet for both phase 3A and future phase 3B. Uh, zoning amendment's been in the clerk's office since its first presentation. Is there anyone here that would like to speak either in favor of or opposition of this zoning amendment? Sir, if you would approach the podium sign your name to the second page. You'll have to lift the first page up and announce your name to the uh, council. Good evening. I'm Ian Blackmore, Director of Land Development with Pratt. Uh, I want to apologize if this is the first time you guys are seeing this. Um, I did try to call an email to get this out to you guys, but I wasn't successful. I understand a lot of people are working from home. Uh, I do have an exhibit that I'd like to reference if you guys have that or if, you, if I'm okay to pass it out. Sure. I can pass them down if you want. I'm with Pratt Home Builders. Uh, we're a family-owned company that's been building in Chattanooga and the surrounding areas for over 20 years. We're a developer, builder. Uh, we have no intent of selling these lots. We will self-perform and construct all these homes. Uh, we're here tonight to request a rear setback variance. The original engineer and developer uh, that designed this didn't consider actual home products being put on this. As you can see, what I have shown is the orange is the front 25 setback and the blue would be the proposed, um, it's actually shown as a 25 foot. The Planning and Zoning Commission, they had denied our 20 foot. When I did originally speak to staff at the city, they thought that a 20 foot would be uh, acceptable and approved by the councils. Um, so it's mainly the interior lots. As you can see, a few of the rear covered porches are just protruding past what would be the 25 foot rear is why we went in asking for a 20 just to try to encompass uh, any potentials. 
So the request to reduce from 30 to 20 is to allow for a rear covered patio to be built on the homes. As the, these lots are very shallow in depth and narrow in width. And like, as I mentioned, it's mainly the interior loops. You can see some of the homes that would have the rear covered patios um, would need anywhere from a 23 and a quarter rear foot setback to 21 and a half rear setback. Um, this is a south distributed lot layout. There could be more, there could be less of these particular homes with the rear, set, uh, rear patios that would um, protrude into what's shown in blue as a 25 foot setback. So as I mentioned, we're here requesting a 20 foot rear setback that would encompass any homes that a buyer might purchase from us. Um, are there any questions? How big are these homes? In the 15 to 2200 square foot range. What, what's the size of the lot, the average lot? Do you have a plat here? Yeah. The majority of the dimensions for the interior lot loops, which are the lots of concern, are a a 70 feet wide and 100 feet deep. And you said the Planning Commission turned you down for 20, and these are 25? Did I they know? turned us down for the 20. They, if someone on their, the, the at that meeting that day said they weren't comfortable with 20, they'd be comfortable with 25 all day long, they said. That's why I reflected and showed the 25 in blue for conversation purposes. But you're applying for 20. Correct. <laughs> or some thing that we're all agreeable tonight. Somebody messed up when they bought the land and started designing these homes, didn't they? Because we do have a, what is it, 30 foot standard? Is that correct? Yeah, I think it's yeah. 30. Yeah. All right. So the only way, the only spot it really applies is in the middle where you're going to be backing up to somebody else. Yeah. So. I said planning and zoning said they'd be agreeable to the 25. They said they thought you guys would be agreeable to 25. They know they've seen it approved in the past. I believe in your first two phases, there are a lot of 25 foot rear setbacks and possibly even some that are less. I'm not sure if they went to an individual lot by lot variance request. One, two, three, four, five, six, I mean, was there a con was there a consideration of changing it with planning and zoning planning and zoning to see if they would approve it at 25? They said they couldn't make any changes there at that particular. I mean, they were either there to approve or deny the 20 foot. But they okay. said they would approve at 25. They'd approve at 25 all day long. They thought you guys would as well. I think we're going to find ourselves in that same situation tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's only seven homes that are in need of a smaller a setback variance instead of approving it for all of them <coughs> if those were the particular homes that that buyer was to choose if, if someone chose you know the product a that's on a uh, lot 48 10 of those throughout the interior loops those would all require or need it so i did um so there's pr home product that would work just not all the home product would work on the interior it doesn't though. allow for any rear covered patio and we're seeing a lot of that right now most buyers are are wanting that rear covered patio for privacy insects whatever it may be mm -hmm. but like 30 and 32 and 30 you know there's a few that have a rear covered patio correct some products still fit right. yeah and this could all be a mute point if they all chose that floor plan but it's unlikely that we'd sell all yeah. at one same floor plan. That makes sense. Anybody else have any questions for the gentleman? Thank you, sir. 
Is there anyone else here that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning modification? Mayor, it doesn't appear anyone else is present. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. That does conclude our public hearing for tonight. At this time, we will call our regularly scheduled council meeting to order. If you would, Mr. Stoltz, please call the roll. Earl Gray, Mayor. Here. Craig Crawford, Mayor Pro Tem. Here. Jim Childs, Councilman. Here. Derek Rogers, Councilman. Here. Rhonda James, Council Lady. Here. Paul Snit, Council Lady. Here. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Let the record show we do have a quorum for tonight. This time we'll do our invocation and our pledge. Mr. Childs, if you would please do the invocation. Miss Stiddit, lead us in the pledge, please. Let us pray. Your Heavenly Father, thank you for the many blessings you give us. Help this council, city manager, mayor, legal, help us to make the best decisions we can to run this city the way that you would want it run and to keep our citizens safe and make the right decisions. Be with us, guide us, direct us, and forgive us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Go ahead, please. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. And, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We said our agenda at this time is hearing is any deletions or any additions for tonight. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, Keith Wilson has asked to be added to the agenda under the appearances section uh, to address you all regarding the uh, recently extended moratorium resolution. Which I'm assuming will be after the approval of the minutes. Yes, sir. Anything else? No, Mr. Mayor. We will have an addition under appearances, which will come on the agenda right after the approval of the minutes of previous council meetings. I have a motion to approve the agenda as amended. Make, Make a motion. motion. Motion, Mr. Crawford, second by Miss James. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Agenda is set. Next item on the agenda. We had a special call meeting during the process. So if members of council have had an opportunity to review the minutes from our regularly scheduled council meeting, which was held on January the 24th, and the minutes from our special call meeting, which was held on Tuesday, February the 8th, I will entertain a motion to approve both minutes. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Childs and a second by Mr. Cross. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda is appearances. Mr. Wilson. To the podium, Mr. Wilson. Purposes of the record, I'm, if Keith you Wilson, I, I'm sorry, I'm hard of hearing, so uh, an acoustic center here is a little bit problem for me. But Mr. Wilson, if you would state your full name so we can get it on the record. Uh, my name is Keith Wilson, and uh, the reason I'm I, the reason I'm here today is I have some concerns about the uh, overlay plan. But I first want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I've grown up here in Fort Oglethorpe. Uh, I've been buying property on Lafayette Road in the downtown area since 1981. I've got a pretty good size investment in that area. Uh, I bought the old quartermaster building from uh, Georgia's Carpets a few years ago, and it was very dilapidated, run down. I rebuilt the whole building and remodeled it myself. I did most of all the work because I had some contractors come in, but I cleaned it up and made it look good. So most of you probably don't remember the old pool hall that was across from the First Baptist Church. Uh, was, I'm not going to run them down or anything, but they had a lot of beer cans out there, and, and uh, it was a kind of a gambling joint. I uh, cleaned that up, put Subway in. Well, first of all, I put uh, Toby McKenzie 
and there was a, a rental store, a furniture rental store, and he stayed with me about 20 years and uh, became a multimillionaire. That's who uh, Mackenzie Arena is named after, but later I finally put a subway in there. They've been in there about 15 years now, so I've got a good tenant there. And uh, I've uh, also built another building uh, at uh, White Street and Lafayette Road, and I've got some good tenants in there. All my tenants have been with me 15, 20 years, some 30 years, and they don't move. I get good tenants, and I take care of my property and keep it up. Uh, I recently bought the old uh, bicycle shop. I'm working on trying to get it done, but I'm on hold right now with it. Uh, and I, I've cleaned the whole yard up. It was a, an eyesore for 10 or 15 years. It looked terrible. But I've cleaned up everything outside, and I'm trying to make it look nice. And when I get through with it, it'll be one of the prettiest places on that part of Fort Oglethorpe. I'm going to make it nice. Uh, I bought the old Jimmy's photo shop and the, the barber shop there, and the Sears rented from me for 30 years. and never I, I remodeled it and fixed it up real nice, and he rented it for a warehouse, and he never did do anything with it and paid me good rent, so I kept it like it was. But, but uh, the concern I have right now is, uh, and I really appreciate what you're doing with the uh, downtown development and trying to improve it. Uh, and it's, that's great. It helps me a lot. But uh, I didn't know about this overlay. It was my own fault. I didn't keep up with it. But, but uh, I rented a building that came vacant. I had a, a physical therapist in the building for 10 years or more, about 12 years. And uh, they did physical therapy work for children. Uh, they, their, their lease uh, notice ran out in October. Uh, I had a chiropractor come by and want to rent it, so I rented it to him in October. Uh, but he, they didn't move out until January or until December 31st when the lease ran out. Uh, but he paid me the rent and signed a, lot, a contract with me on it. And then this moratorium kicked in when he came over to get a license. Uh, he couldn't get a license, uh, a business license, and I couldn't get a permit to. Uh, fix my ceiling tiles and do, do the work in there. So uh, I'm stuck with it right now. Now, he's, his lease is up. He's either going to move into my building, which I'm on White Street, and it's kind of a side road, and it's, uh, it's always been hard to rent, but when I do rent it, it stays rented. And, you know, it, but now I'm, I'm vacant, and I can't rent it for six, I've, it's been six months, or it will be six months, so, uh, and I've got him rented to it. And, He's going to move to Ringo. He's going to move out of Fort Oglethorpe on us. And uh, I've got another uh, office. Right now I have four vacancies uh, in my properties. I'm trying to rent all four of them. And I am just have to tell people I don't know what I can't do anything. And, uh, and I've got blood assurance moving out uh, and any time. And I, I, I make five vacancies. And you guys have got my hands tied. I can't, I can't do anything. I can't do business. And uh, I need... Right now, I'm, the main thing I'm concerned with is I, I need to tell my chiropractor, do I give you the money back and you go to Ringgold, or do I, do I get approval from the city council to let you move in uh, or not? You know, I, that's where I am. I need to tell him something because uh, he keeps wanting to know, and he needs to know because he's, he's got to do something, and uh, I don't want to keep him tied up. If I, if I can't do anything with it, I just have to uh, leave it vacant. But that's the situation I'm in right now. And I, I need a little relief on it and some, some, so I need some help in doing something with it. But I, I won't be able to pay my taxes. And that's about, my income comes from my, my rental property. And uh, right now I've, I've got five pieces, four, five, four pieces right now and one coming up that I won't be able to rent and I can't rent. So uh, if you could give me some kind of answer on yes or no, whatever it is, I'll, t I'll accept it and, uh, and wish you well and hope you hope we can get this thing rolling down the road. Yeah, but I just need, I, I can't wait another three, four months, three or four months and tell him to hold on because he's, he, he can't do it. You know, so, uh, and the sooner you can give me an answer, I'd appreciate it. You know, and can you tell me when you can give me an answer? I was hoping maybe tonight, but I, I know you may have to make some decisions. Any motion that's brought before the council can't be voted on the same night that it is, in fact, uh, brought. It has to wait till the next council meeting by our charter. So, that, 
if there's a motion to do anything by any of the council members, it'll have to be basically the next time we meet. And, and just so that we're all on the same page, Rick and I met with Mr. Wilson this morning um, about this, this same issue, kind of tried to give him a timeline. The moratorium does legally extend until April 24th, but Robbie and a consultant and Rick and I are all working furiously to get the, the overlay district set so that we can actually get that adopted before the moratorium sunsets so that everything would happen at once so it wouldn't be the moratorium ends on the 24th and then we've got six more weeks of readings the idea is to get it all done by the by april 24th at the outset right Robbie? Mm -hmm. and the moratorium does allow you to do repairs on those buildings i'm, I'm sorry i can't hear anything we're both saying <laughs> The moratorium, you can do repairs right now on your buildings. Yeah, uh, but he can't get a business license. That's the, that's the hold up. I, uh, he, he came over to get a business license. They said, no, you can't have a business license. We've got everything on hold. And uh, my concern is I, I have a hard time renting that little L shape back there because it's off the road and no one wants to be back on the back side. They want to be up on the front side. And uh, uh, I've got a, a good potential client that's going to go to Ringo. And that's and but I'd like to keep him here, but mm -hmm. you know if I can't, I can't. You know, but uh, uh, he can't get a business license, and he can't do business over there. Is what he's been told, and that's what I've been told. And uh, and he does he does want to build a, a one wall, but we're, uh, it's not a retaining, it's not a structural wall. It's just a, a partition. But I think I can get around that with a rollable a roll away wall or a. a portable wall and not have to build a wall but I talked to Rick about it and he said yeah that'll work but I'd rather put a, just a wall in there but if you can't do that you know I can get, I can get by with a roll away wall but uh, the main thing right now is his business license uh, he, he can't get a can't get a license and uh, uh, Mr. Wilson would it help if, if maybe Rick and I and Robbie talked with your prospective tenant to kind of talk to him about what the, the process is to explain that a little bit more because I know it is confusing would that would that help I'm sorry I oh, can't hear you would it help a uh, uh, city uh, manager and uh, the city attorney would be glad to meet with your prospective tenant Okay. And explain the situation and and talk with them. Would would that he, help you? He he knows the situation, and uh, you know he's aware of that. But uh, what he's up against, his lease is out. He's got he's got to go he's got to go somewhere. Right. He's got to start uh, business. He can't wait. He's not going to wait four months. Just to be honest. With you. Well, you, Mr. Wilson, we will let you apply for that exception for that particular business and that particular business. Only. That's that's what I was, that's why I'm here. I was hoping my we can't I vote on it tonight. Here but you can apply for that exception and then the council will make that ruling in two weeks well i, I didn't know I've, I've been trying to do this ever since the first of january and uh, i finally you know i keep being told one thing and I, I didn't know what to do i just other than come over here and see you guys well and, that's good that's I, what we're here I, for but and i yeah. hopefully maybe i can get a variance of some kind to get him in there uh to, to keep him okay he, uh, he's a he's a professional i mean i i, I don't want Crash in my property. I want good. I want good tenants that stay there, and that's pretty well evidenced by what I've been able to select in the past. Every one of my tenants has been with me minimum ten years. I don't have turnover. I get good tenants. I give them a good rate. And I take care of them, and, uh, and that's what I'm looking for with him. I know he'll make me a good tenant, but you know, I'm, I've come to a point where I can't do anything. Uh, could. Miss Hume, you could talk to him in the morning. Sure. Yeah, Miss Hume will be glad to speak with you in the morning. Uh, you have his number. Yes, ma'am. So she can call you. Is there a certain time in the morning she could oh, call you? Call, yeah. Uh, anytime you want to call me, just call me. Okay. I'm available. Uh, and now what are we gonna do? A city manager is going to call you in the morning. Two weeks. This was a physical okay. fair. So you can, oh. a, you can let me know something in two weeks? He said we could vote on that, that exception in two weeks. Right. We'll, we'll vote in two weeks. Not next Monday night, but the following Monday. Right. And uh, if you'll call Miss Hune in the morning, and then you can work out the details. Well, I'll let him know, and that'll, that'll, give, that'll give us both some relief. Okay. Excellent. I, I appreciate well, that. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Oh, Wilson. My, <laughs> I didn't we realize need... how bad my ear, hearing was getting. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, you, I'm, you need to formally I'm, make that request tonight to enable us to vote on it in two weeks. What's that? What does he need to do? What does he need to say, Earl? He needs to state the name of that business and what type of business it is, and he is asking for an exception oh, that we can uh, vote on in two weeks. It's a right. chiro chiropractor's office. Uh, Do you have the name of the business? Uh, the total, I believe it's a True Life, life Care. Like, true Life, know. maybe? I've forgotten. It's, it's true, life. true Life Chiropractor? True, true, true Life Chiropractor. Okay. Okay. And that you would you right. would like to apply for the exception? Yes, I'd like to get a variance of some kind on it for, for Dr. Massick. Uh, Do we vote on this? Massick. Okay. All right. Did, Did that work? That yeah. works. We got it on record, and we'll <laughs> be it, able to vote. Does Mr. he Stone. want his wall? Do you want your the wall? You'd like to put a permanent wall instead of a yeah, rollaway. I'd, I'd prefer to do that, but if that's not feasible or just go ahead and say wall. right now i want the wall I would like, I want build the, the wall. wall all right we're building the wall mr wilson they'll talk to you about it and uh, you'll you'll speak with miss Yoon in the morning okay she's going to call me right yes yeah. sir yes sir thank you appreciate your time thank you mr thank wilson you. Is that all you need me for yes yes sir <laughs> i'm getting a horse go sit down <laughs> Uh, let, let me get you to sign this paper. Hang on just a second. Does he need something? Oh, he doesn't need He doesn't think? Okay. So you're good, sir. Thank you for being here. Yes, sir. I need a cold drink. Mm -hmm. And which one of us has a big mouth? You were just you were close. <laughs> no, ma'am, you were just closer. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> All righty, let's move on to the next item on our agenda. Next item is resolutions. Resolution number 2022-03. Mr. Stuffins. Resolution number 202203, Service Delivery Strategy Resolution. A resolution of the Mayor and Council of the City of Fort Oldthorpe for the purpose of extending certain existing service delivery agreements with Walker County, the City of Rossville, the City of Chickamauga, the City of Lookout Mountain, and the City of Lafayette. Whereas Walker County and the municipalities of Fort Oldthorpe, Rossville, Lookout Mountain, Chickamauga, and Lafayette adopted a service delivery strategy pursuant to the requirements set forth by the General Assembly in House Bill 489 codified at OCGA Section 367020, which the original document was executed in 1999 and amended in 2012, and whereas pursuant to the provisions of OCGA Section 36728B, Walker County and its municipalities are required to review and revise, if necessary, the county's joint service strategy delivery strategy in conjunction with the updates of the comprehensive plan, which must be updated every 10 years, and whereas Walker County and the municipalities of Fort Oakthorpe, Rossville, Lookout Mountain, Chickamauga, and Lafayette have mutually agreed to extend the current service outline with the existing service delivery strategy for a period of six months, and whereas upon its approval and certification, the extension of the service delivery st strategy shall be submitted to the state of Georgia for review and approval, and whereas the service delivery strategy is deemed to be a vital tool in ensuring that all citizens of the county and its municipalities are provided necessary public services. Now, therefore, be it resolved, and is hereby resolved by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, does hereby authorize an extension of the existing agreements with Rossville. Lookout Mountain, Chickamauga, and Lafayette, and Walker County, and authorizes said extension to be submitted to the state for review and approval. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stultz. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Childs, second by Mr. Rogers. Is there any discussion? Mr. Childs. Yes. Mr. Crawford. Yes. Mr. Rogers. Yes. Ms. James. Yes. Ms. Stenny. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda is ordinances. First item under ordinances is the third and final reading of ordinance number 2022-02. Mr. Stoltz. 
Ordinance number 2022-02, ordinance to amend the 2021 fiscal year budget, ordinance number 2020-14 for the City of Fort Oakthorpe. Whereas the duly elected governing authority of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia is authorized under Article 9, Section 3, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, the Official Code of Georgia, Annotate 36353, and the Charter for the City of Fort Oakthorpe to adopt reasonable ordinances to protect and improve the physical, the public health, safety, welfare, and aesthetics of the citizens of Fort Oakthorpe and Whereas it is hereby ordained by the governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe that the attached and following shall constitute the amended 2021 fiscal year budget. This ordinance will take effect at, on and after its adoption by the mayor and council. First reading, 24th day of January 2022. Second reading, 8th day of February 2022. Third and final reading tonight. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. Motion by Miss James, second by Mr. Crawford. Is there any discussion? Miss Stenny? Yes. Miss James? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Mr. Crawford? Yes. Mr. Child? Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Next item is the first and the final reading for a, zone, a zoning ordinance, ordinance number 2022-03. Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2022-03, zoning amendment, be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof. Section one, that the following property owned by Stephanie Doris and known as MAP 00031001309 Barnhart Circle, current zoning C1 request R3 zoning back to original zoning. Mayor? Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second, sir. Motion by Mr. Crawford, second by Ms. Stenny. Is there any discussion? Only that I hate to see the Doris family move. <laughs> any other discussion? Mr. Rogers? Yes. Ms. James? Yes. Ms. Stenny? Yes. Mr. Childs? Yes. Mr. Crawford? Yes. Motion carries unanimous. Next under ordinances is the first and final reading for a variance ordinance. Ordinance number 2022-04. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2022-04, zoning amendment, be ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof. Section 1, that the following property owned by Pratt & Associates and known as MAP 0011F001 through 0011F051, 0011A113 Winchester Drive, Huntley Metals Development, Phase 3A, and future Phase B variance request to reduce the rear setback from 30 feet to 20 feet for both Phase 3A and future Phase 3B. And Mayor, just for because there was some question about it, the, the council is limited only to the ordinance as it appears. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion. Oh, excuse me, are we able to have a discussion as far as No, sir. Do I have a motion to approve? Last call for a motion. Request for the variance ordinance on ordinance number 2022-04 fails for lack of a motion. Next item is the first reading of ordinance number 2022-05. Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 202205, an ordinance of the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe approving the Dina annexation request 
for tax parcel number 0013D002 to be DNX from the municipal boundaries of the city of Fort Oldflorp and into the unincorporated area of Catoosa County to change the corporate limits of the city of Fort Oldflorp to reflect the de annexation to repeal conflicting ordinances and other related proposals. Mayor, this ordinance will be available in the clerk's office. This basically, uh, as the council will remember, involves the approximately seven sump makers out on off of Beach Road. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Next item on the agenda is new business. Item number one under new business, recommendation to approve contract modification number one for engineering services for the Deach Road intersection improvement project. Mr. Long. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, in 2018, Fort Oldfort entered an agreement with CTI Engineering, uh, Task Order 2018-7, to design the, sir, and the intersection improvements at Deets and Battlefield Parkway. Uh, during the process of this, there was additional services that was requested by GDOT survey and property acquisition we assist we had to do, and then coordinating with the utilities with the DOT that was required by them for this intersection since it does connect to a state highway right of way and uh, requesting to for approval would be uh, let me find it here I lost it uh, the, the new uh, task order modification one would be 2021-04 for the amount of $13,400 and this would go back in towards the original contract to go to the uh, RPR during the construction of that, and it is out on bid uh, right now. Thank you, Mr. Long. Thank you. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Childs, second by Mr. Rogers. Is there any discussion? Is there any update on the time frame for that project? I don't know what the, in the contract, how many days was on that, but it is, it'll be coming up, the bid opening. Uh, in March, sometime will be the be an opening for that. Okay. So, time frame couple of will it take two years? <laughs> yeah, is that is that just engineering or is that the start no. construction? No, that would be the start of construction. Should be probably usually it's thirty to forty five days after y'all approve award the contract to the low bid, and then uh, I would say that will probably be a probably around a six to nine month project uh, okay should be within can't get amount. it too soon it's already been four so. <laughs> <laughs> any other discussion all in favor say aye. aye aye motion carries unanimous thank you item number two under new business recommendation to procure and install countertops and cabinetry and the police department report room, break room, and prisoner processing area. Ms. Hume. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, these next two items are actually the final two items we hope for the renovation of the police department. So you'll be seeing another one in just a minute. This is just for the, um, which one? Oh, I had them backwards. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, this is for countertops and cabinetry. Uh, the police department solicited four quotes for um, the the countertops back there and four and three quotes for uh, the, the cabinetry back there one vendor will receive uh, plastic woodworking design is being recommended for approval for um, the cabinetry in the amount of seven thousand four hundred eighty dollars in creative services is being recommended for award for the countertops in the amount of six thousand dollars for a total award amount of thirteen thousand four hundred eighty dollars coming out of SPLOST Thank you, Ms. Hume. I have a motion to approve. So moved, sir. Second. Motion by Ms. Stennett, second by Mr. Childs. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number three. Recommendation to procure and install carpet tiles for the police department. Ms. Hume. 
Uh, thank you. Again, this is um, this is another item for the, the renovation of our police department back there. Um, to just put in carpet and carpet tiling installation is a little bit separate from just the actual tiles themselves. Um, the police department solicited quotes from several vendors for the carpet tiles itself. It will the police department is recommending award uh, to Joy Carpets and Company in the amount of nineteen thousand five hundred sixty five dollars materials and installation to Crete Star in the amount of $19,440 for a total award amount of $39,005. And once these projects are completed, um, the chief is going to open it up for you guys to have a tour before a council meeting. We're very excited. It's looking really good back there. And once it's all done, we can't wait to have you back there and take a look. Wonderful. Signing for the um, no, this one is actually coming out of the general fund, sir. All right. Thank you. I have a motion to approve. Motion, motion sir. Second. Motion by Miss Stennett, second by Mr. Crawford. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda, city manager's report. Ms. Hume. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, and also I want to say welcome to uh, one of our leadership Katusa members over here. Uh, thank you for coming tonight to fulfill your requirement to watch a, a meeting. I'm like, glad to have you, Joel. This is Joel King. Um, and also I just want to remind everybody that the city will be closed on Monday, February 21st, uh, in observance of President's Day. So bulk trash pickup is next week. So all those days on Monday will be delayed until Tuesday, but we will get to you. Um, one of the, uh, we also have our spring recreation signups going on right now. Tony's back there if I get this wrong, but I think, I think I'll do it. Our <laughs> basketball season is going to end on Saturday, February 26th, and then recreation baseball and softball online signups are going on right now until February 25th, so please sign up if you're interested. You can sign up online at lforec.org, that's lforec.org. Or we have in-person signups on February 25th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. We would love for you to come out and sign up your kids to participate. Um, and we're also having a spring break baseball camp on April 5th and 6th, so please mark your calendars for that as well. And then finally, um, package sales applications. Um, I know we've had a lot of questions in the last week or two about package sales applications. The application period will open on February 23rd. Um, that is the day it will be advertised on the Catoosa County News and on our website and on Facebook the same day. Um, the application will become available on our website and um, in person in the clerk's office if people wish to come in and pick up an application and fill it out. The application period will be open for 60 days until April 24th, at which point we'll stop taking applications. Council will review them and then the lottery process will begin. And that's it for me. Thank you, Ms. Hume. Next item, Mayor and Council comments. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, she mentioned the baseball sign-ups. I don't know if you've been by our baseball fields recently, but there's a lot of improvements going on up there. They're looking better every day. Uh, and also, kind of across the street, you probably noticed some improvements and some work been going on on our future farmers market. We're moving right along on those two. And we're looking forward to spring coming, and we're going to have a lot of new and exciting things going on here in the city. So We're just waiting on Mother Nature in a few days. Mr. Childs. No comments. Mr. Crawford. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate our uh, our uh, women basketball team at the high school. If uh, they finish the regular season as uh, undefeated in the in their region and as region champions, and so they'll be the number one seed going into the uh, region tournament. And our boys finished second. And uh, they'll be the number two seed going in our region tournament, which that tournament will be held at the home of the legendary Jim Charles down in Lafayette, Georgia. Who, who is number one seed? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's where the tournament's being hosted today. <laughs> so great job by Coach Laney and Coach Watkins with the, their teams. And, and uh, to touch on uh, uh, talking about the signups in the clinic uh, it's going to be exciting this year our baseball clinic uh, uh, coach Ellis has uh, worked well with uh, former uh, PRA and LFO alumni Greg Payne who is actually putting that on so uh, he's won a few state championships around and uh, his son's going to help him who played college baseball at Lee and then uh, also if you check our website as well we're having a PRA 
slash Fort Old Thorpe Rec reunion April the 16th, Saturday. It's going to be a, a big event. So if you ever played, coached, fan of, watch, parent, whatever, come on out and you can register on the website and we're going to have hamburgers, hot dogs, and everything. Just people get to socialize and catch up on old times. Um, so that's going to be a very fun event. And I'm going to end it by wishing a happy Valentine's Day to the my Valentine for 27 years, my wife. Uh, she needs need a medal. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Mr. Rock. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, I'd just like to say happy Valentine's Day to my wife, uh, Stephanie, and also my daughter, Ella. I love you both. Thank That's you, it. Mr. Rogers. Miss James. Happy Valentine's Day, and I also want to thank Jeff and Tony's folks. If you haven't driven by there where Earl was talking about putting the farmer's market, they've done a tremendous job, and I just want to say thank you to those folks that have worked on that. They've done a tremendous job. That's all I have. That they have. Thank you. Miss mm -hmm. Denny. Yes, sir. Want to remind everyone, save the date for May 14th, Saturday at Honor Park, a tribute to those who served, when we will be gathering to honor this year's recipient, the Georgia law enforcement people. So we want to welcome everyone to come there and enjoy honoring those people on Saturday, May 14th. Our next work day for Honor Park will be Saturday, February 26th. Happy Valentine's Day, and as they say in Corinthians, the greatest of these is love. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ms. Stenick. Next item on the agenda is executive session. I will entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss real estate and personnel. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Childs, second by Mr. Crawford. All in favor say aye. 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 This council is in executive session. Entertain a motion to come out of executive session. Motion. Second. Motion, Mr. Childs, and a second by Ms. Stiddard. All in favor say aye. 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 This council is out of executive session. In executive session, we discuss personnel and real estate. Next item on the agenda is adjournment. I entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Crawford, second by Ms. James. All in favor say aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned.